Are you okay? No, I am trying to register for classes. There are so many classes, and this whole pile of paper makes me so frustrated, and it's just such a mess, and I really wish there was an easier way to do this because this is completely inconvenient, and I don't have any time, and I'm stressing. Oh. You look so stressed out, Deborah. What's wrong? I am stressed out. You know how much I have to do today? I have to go to all my classes, and I'm supposed to be going home for little Jimmy's baseball game. I can't even do that. Why not? Well, if you look at my schedule, I have computer science in 15 minutes. What are you going to do? Well, honestly, if worse comes to worse, I'm just going to have to drop out of school. I can't keep choosing school over my family. You know what they say, family comes first. Start over. Oh my gosh, Liz, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. You know what? You write it. I'm done. simple tasks were difficult without the use of a university website. Wondering what lunch was, or where the major events were on campus, or trying to figure out which major minor requirements was a very lengthy process. Scheduling, applying, changing a major all had to be done with forms filled out by hand with the book of classes as a reference, which is what you saw in the skit. Taking a tour on campus or speaking with faculty was very difficult if you were farther away. In the past, typewriters were bulky and heavy and not as easily transportable as today's technology. Research for papers was often handwritten. It was a long, drawn-out process. If any errors were made, it was hard to erase them. In extreme cases, a whole paper had to be rewritten. In the skits you just watched, you observed Deborah's trouble that she had with balancing the responsibilities she has as a student at Wilkes University and a family member and a mother. Deborah was experiencing role conflict. Printing social capital is usually associated with weak ties of people or groups who don't know each other. People who lived in tight-knit communities have limited interaction with the rest of the world, and like in our skit showed how if you didn't know what was going on, you were more likely to miss out on events on campus and how to sign up for things. but it's an online social 101 class. Ah, I have that with Professor Wernick. He's pretty cool. You're never going to get to meet him, though. Yeah, I heard that he's pretty cool, but, you know, i got to go to this baseball game. Oh. I'm really in a rush, so I'll see you guys later. later. paper earlier and I've made so many mistakes. I'm glad I could just like fix it and print it out. Yeah. Imagine what life will be like without computers. Yeah. Good thought. Maybe we should get back to work. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so did you register for the glow run? No. Oh my god. Did I miss the deadline? Yeah, you can still do it. If you go on a little Facebook page, the link's on there. there. Oh really? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yay! I'm so excited! University websites are now the norm for colleges. We're socialized into using them the second we apply for a college or university. They provide online tours, major minor requirements, 
information and class registration forms, all the way down to finding homework or the menu for the cafeteria. In the skits you just watched, Deborah, a mother, wife, and student at Wilkes University, is able to go to her son's baseball game because she is taking her sociology course online. Her troubles with role conflict are eased, and she is able to do her required work for the class anytime and anywhere. As technology has advanced in the last couple of decades, especially since the 1990s, online education has grown in popularity in all levels of education. A study that was done by Babson Survey Research Group, Pearson, and Sloon C Corporation found that in the last 10 years, the number of students taking online classes has increased by 570,000, lending out a total of 6.7 million students taking online Modernization classes. Modernization is working for the better here in this skit. A few issues are still apparent, such as hand cramping. The technology takes most of the hassle out of writing a paper. Errors can be corrected with ease. Through social interaction, the socialization of technology is also introduced as two friends discuss their favorite word processing software. Symbolic culture can be found all over campus. Everyone knows that the apple on the back of all the computers symbolizes more than just a piece of fruit. It's a symbol for Apple Incorporated, the world's largest computer company. Bonding social capital is usually associated with strong ties, such as family members and close friends, and is associated with strong in-group loyalty. People exposed to greater amounts of social media create a larger amount of bonding social capital as they have greater ties with people who live farther away from them. Our skit showed how you can spread the word to more events on campus to people who live far away with just a click of a button.